Hey everyone! Welcome back to Cap Tech, where we explore the fascinating intersections of technology, history, and travel. I'm your new host, Janie Rutenkruch. I'm so happy that Cap Tech chose me for this job. I am Cap Tech's number one fan. I think of him like a big vanilla desert. I mean, seriously guys, check out the links below to buy some of Josh Kappelman's books, or his new musical album. The man is simply amazing, and in this gal's opinion, he's one of the most underrated creators and artists of his generation. Today we're diving into how two small towns in Illinois have become super destinations thanks to pop culture icons Superman and Popeye. We'll explore how Metropolis and Chester have embraced these characters to boost tourism and bring a little comic book magic to their streets. But here's the twist. Ottawa, Illinois, the birthplace of Zorro's creator, doesn't seem to follow suit. Let's find out why. First stop, Metropolis, Illinois, officially declared the hometown of Superman by DC Comics in 1972. This small town on the Ohio River has fully embraced its connection to the Man of Steel, turning itself into a super tourism destination. The iconic Superman statue stands tall in the center of town, drawing fans from around the world who come to celebrate their favorite superhero. Metropolis is also home to the Superman Museum, where visitors can immerse themselves in all things related to Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and the entire Superman universe. Each year, the town hosts the Superman Celebration, a festival that attracts thousands of visitors for a weekend of comic book fun, celebrity guests, and of course, a celebration of truth, justice, and the American way. Metropolis has cleverly turned its name into a brand, leveraging Superman's global appeal to put itself on the map. It's a prime example of how a small town can become a big tourist destination with the right pop culture connection. Now let's head over to Chester, Illinois, a town that's just as enthusiastic about its own comic book hero, Popeye the Sailor Man. Chester is the hometown of Popeye's creator, Elsie Chrysler Seagar, and the town has wholeheartedly embraced its spinach-loving sailor. Standing proudly along the Mississippi River is a statue of Popeye himself, welcoming visitors to Chester. Chester has gone all in on its Popeye connection, creating the Popeye character trail, a series of statues and murals dedicated to the entire cast of the comic strip. Each year, the town hosts the Popeye Picnic, a festival filled with parades, contests, and all things Popeye. Chester's commitment to honoring its local hero has turned the town into a must-visit destination for fans of the classic cartoon. Chester's Popeye-themed tourism is a testament to how a town can preserve and promote its cultural heritage in a fun and engaging way. It's a win for the town and a treat for visitors who get to experience a piece of comic strip history. But what about Ottawa, Illinois? This town has its own claim to fame. It's the birthplace of Johnston McCulley, the creator of Zorro. Zorro, the swashbuckling masked hero of old California, has been an enduring figure in popular culture for over a century. Yet, despite this connection, Ottawa hasn't capitalized on Zorro in the same way Metropolis has with Superman or Chester with Popeye. So why doesn't Ottawa play up its Zorro connection? It's a question worth pondering. Some might say that Zorro, while iconic, doesn't have the same universal appeal as Superman or Popeye. He's a hero rooted in a specific time and place, Old California, making it perhaps more challenging to connect him to a Midwestern town like Ottawa. Another possibility is that Ottawa has chosen to focus on other aspects of its history, such as its role in the Lincoln-Douglas debates and its historic downtown. But with the right marketing and community support, there's no reason Ottawa couldn't bring Zorro to the forefront, creating a unique tourist draw that celebrates both the town and the legendary hero. Imagine a Zorro festival, complete with sword-fighting demonstrations, costume contests, and screenings of classic Zorro films. It could be a swashbuckling good time, adding a new dimension to Ottawa's already rich history. Whether it's Superman in Metropolis, Popeye in Chester, or perhaps someday Zorro in Ottawa, these pop culture icons have the power to transform small towns into big destinations. It's all about embracing what makes your town unique and sharing that story with the world. And thanks for joining me on this journey through if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next adventure. And let me know in the comments, what hidden histories are lurking in your local area? I'd love to hear your stories! Until next time, this is Cap Tech signing off.
Chicago Illinois is where the rivers meet There's a town with charm, a rhythm and beat We got bars and churches lined in the street And most folks go bowling where the strikes and spares greet Oh, out of war with your history deep In Lincoln's book here and the statue we keep Lafayette Street's name seems to stand apart Not a president, but it's part of the heart Washington Park holds the statue of A A moment in time when his voice did amaze And the right of Zona was born right here In a town full of stories, both far and near Oh, what a walk with your history deep A Lincoln spoke here and a statue we keep Lafayette Street's name seems to stand apart, not a president But it's part, it's part of it, the same Most folks go bowling where the strikes and spares greet Oh, what a while with your history deep Abe Lincoln spoke here and his statue we keep Lafayette Street's name seems to stand apart, not a president But it's part of the heart Factories of old with their dark Past. Ray and girls work in their shadows cast But we've moved on with our streets named for fame Except for Lafayette, which doesn't quite fit the same Oh, what a while with your history deep In Lincoln's book here and the statue we keep Lafayette Street's name seems to stand apart Not a president, but it's part of the heart Washington Park holds the statue of A Moment in time when his voice did amaze And the light of Arizona was born right here In a town full of stories both far and near Oh, what a walk there's a man who lives by the course where the greens are bright But his golf game, well, it's not so tight Owns his own car, rolls up in style But when it comes to a swing, it might take a while He's got the drinks, he's got the ice more fun than the pros, he's a member so he's paid a price No scorecard needed, he's got a plan, won't keep score Cause it occupies his drinking hand The other golfers, they're hitting birdies and pars While he's cracking jokes and lightning cigars He doesn't care if the ball goes astray He's just here to enjoy the day He's got the drinks, he's got the smoke No scorecard needed won't keep score cause it occupies his drinking hand They can't have their trophies and the perfect swing But he's got laughter and that's the real thing He might not win but he will not stress Living his life, just having the best So here's to the man who lives by the course Not the best at golf but he's got no remorse With a drink in one hand and a smoke in the other The sun's hanging low, 
But I'm Modi Bofi, time's moving slow We've got our crew and we've got our cheer On this sandy island with too many beers On Moni Moni, we're living the dream We have a cooler, a beer, and a laid back sea From dawn to dusk, we're laughing loud On this little sandbar, we've got our crowd 